Today we'll be doing this little explorer game in under 4 minutes using only free assets in Unreal Engine 5. No mumbo jumbo, let's go. Launch Unreal Engine 5, go to the games tab, the first person template, name it whatever you want and hit create. Go to edit, plugins, search for water, click in water and click yes and restart. Once the project has restarted, click file, new level, blank, create, okay? Zoom out a little bit here. Click the add button, look for all classes, then scroll down to the very end, look for water and find the water body ocean. Then use the blue arrow and pull the water up, 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 drag it up until the water starts hitting the surface of this big cube, okay? And then select the cube and delete it, press delete. And then boot up the Epic Games launcher, go to Marketplace, go to the free tab, go to the permanently free collection, find asset called Stylized Fantasy Provinciale, and then download it and add to project, select your project and click add to project. Now go back to your beautiful water world and then go to content drawer and then find the stylized folder. Inside there, there's a folder called meshes. Here you can find all kinds of meshes. I'm gonna use this main house, whatever. You drag it out. You can drag it around a little bit with this gizmo. Then you can scale it. And after scaling it, you rotate it a little bit so it looks kind of half submerged. Uh, and then you go back to the content drawer, you find new meshes, whatever you want to use here. This is now up to you. This is creative. Be, be creative. It's an explorer game. Use your mind. Use your imaginativity wherever you choose this, you know. And then you can scale it, you can rotate it, and basically make the world however big you want. It's completely up to you. For this one, we're just going to do a small scene, but you can build more or less endlessly. So once you have a scene you're slowly getting happy with, we want to start thinking about player movement, okay? So we're going to look for a rock, something like this one. Drag the rock out, find it by moving it and scaling it and looking for it deep underwater. I'm not sure where the hell mine went. It's probably here somewhere. There it is, okay? So then you use the rock as a tool for the player to jump in between. So the player will jump through from rock to rock. And then you can start thinking about the composition as well, like what will the player see from each rock that they jump on. And this is how you can create this little explorer uh, adventure kind of game. And um, now it's up to you again. It's the creative part. Like where do you want to lead the player from rock to rock? How hard will the jump be from rock to rock? Is it hard? And you can scale the rocks, you can rotate them just like we did with the rest of the assets until you find a path that you're happy with. So I'm just going to speed this up for you so you see how I did it. And then to add some nice mood, let's just rotate the sun. Press Control L, and then you can rotate the sun like this. And look at that. That's like a AAA experience already. Incredible. Amazing. All right, super. And then maybe, you know, you want to start having some landmarks for the player to see. So, like, this tower is pretty cool. So that's like a way forward for like, oh, I'm going over there. Uh, again, creative, man. Just be creative. And that's basically it to get you started. And then, you know, if you want to add some complexity, like hidden keys or hidden doors, feel free to ask in the comment section and I'll try to make a tutorial of whatever you want to see. Uh, but for now, I'll keep it short and sweet. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care.